Okay, this is English 101, week 13, part nine. This is almost certainly the final bit of the final lecture of uh, English class. This is like the last couple of minutes of it here. We have one paragraph to look at and a quick review and then we're done. Um, so let's take a look at her final paragraph here. The writer Julian Barnes, considering mourning, once said, it hurts just as much as it is worth. It hurts just as much as it is worth when someone dies. It hurts just as much as it is worth. In fact, it was a friend of his who wrote the line in a letter of condolence, and Julian told it to my husband, who told it to me. For months afterward, those words stuck with both of us, so clear and so brutal. It hurts just as much as it's worth. What an arrangement. Why would anyone accept such a crazy deal? Surely if we were sane and reasonable, we would every time choose pleasure over joy, as animals themselves sensibly do. The end of a pleasure brings no great harm to anyone, after all, and can always be replaced with another of more or less equal worth. And that's the end. Um, it, it hurts as much as it's worth. Meaning when someone dies, when, if you really love someone, and they die. It could be a child, could be your romantic partner, could be a best friend, could be a pet. But it hurts as much as it's worth, meaning it hurts a lot because it was a big joy. And so however big a joy it was, that's how much it hurts to lose it. Whereas pleasure isn't like that. You just enjoy a sandwich, and if the sandwich shop closes, you could find another food somewhere else. But the joy is such an intense thing that when it's gone, it hurts. And how much does it hurt? Exactly as much as it's worth. Um, cause you're, ne it, 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 you can't be, if you love something a lot, it's going to hurt when it goes away uh, a lot. Um, and so she talks about the kind of craziness of that. It, it, it hurts as much as it's worth, right? How, whatever, however big your joy was when it goes away, it will crush you in the same way. Um, it's very different from your favorite sandwich shop closing. Um, or, you know, if you, if you have a song that you like and you can't listen to it anymore, that's not a good example. Why would that ever happen in today's society? Um, Anyway, I, I'm going to stick with a sandwich shop example. Um, okay, and that's it. We did it. So I think her point, her examples, don't get hung up on her examples. Don't worry about them. You should think in the comments on the discussion board about the difference between pleasure and joy. You should think about examples of things in your life that bring you pleasure and examples in your life that bring you joy the way she defines it as this overwhelming, life-changing, I wouldn't want this to happen this only happened to me five or six times in my life, and I don't want it to happen anymore. Um, so just think about examples of pleasure and joy in your discussion board comments. Um, you should also think about, um, oh, and you can think about examples of fear also, and, and different kinds of fears and rational and irrational fears, because of course, you're, you're going to want to think about Walker too. Um, so now that we're done with both pieces, I just want to do a quick review. There will be an ex the, the exam is going to pop up on Blackboard in like the middle of May. It'll be open for a couple of days. You don't have to do it in one shot, but you do have to do it during the couple of days the exam is open. I'll email you about that. You're going to click on it. You're going to give me a 500 word essay. They're going to give you three options. You're only going to answer one of those options. Um, they're going to ask you your opinion. They're going to ask you three questions, and they're going to be but things about emotions. They're going to ask you questions about emotions. You're going to want to make sure that every paragraph connects back to your answer to that question. And then in those paragraphs, as part of your answer, you're going to be like, oh, somebody that might agree with me is, you know, Zadie Smith, who talks about joy, or someone that might disagree with me is, you know, Karen Walker, who talks about fear, or, you know, um, and you've got to kind of put it, you got to kind of, so, so you're going to be like, oh, me and Karen Walker think this, or whatever it is. Um, so you're going to want to use both essays, and you must quote both essays. You must quote both Smith and Walker in your at least 500 word essay that responds to one of three prompts that you're given on Blackboard, and you've got to complete it in the three-day window that it's open, although you don't have to do it all in one go. Okay, cool. I think that's it. I think we're done with the semester. Um, yeah. If you have questions about, and this is it, this is the last video I'm going to give you. There's no more instruction after this. I know there's a couple of weeks left uh, in the semester, but this class always ends a week early because of complicated reasons having to do with the way the exams are graded. Don't worry about that. Um, uh, so this class always ends a week before your other classes. But in my case, I also put the lectures up during spring break because I found it helpful last semester to get to the finish line a little early. 
Um, it's the same, because what, what I should have done is given you zero lectures during spring break and then finished class a week later. But I decided to give you classes during spring break because again, it's like a COVID spring break and you're probably home anyway. Um, but that way you have a couple of weeks to, if you didn't write paper one, two, and three, write paper one, two, and three. If you want to revise paper one, two, and three, revise it and get it to you by May 17th. Uh, if you don't have your 20 substantial discussion board comments, you can get those in by May 17th. Anyway, it just gives you some time to finish the work uh, that you've been assigned this semester. So oh, I think that's it. I'll probably have some kind of nicer sort of farewell message or something at the end. I don't know. Um, if I don't, my name's Jeff Clock, and you know how to spell my first and last name, which means you can find me on Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram, and feel free to grab me on social media. And you know how to stay in touch with me. You can ask me questions on Ask Me Anything, but I have an email address. Even after the class is over, you're welcome to still email me. Um, I'm perfectly happy to get emails from you in, in future classes. Um, I hope you take more classes with me. I, I have other classes you can take, including 201, although I'm not teaching them next semester. Um, if you're writing a lit major, I've got a 250 class, and there's some other classes I can take, but you can't take them. Anyway, you keep, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm at BMCC every semester. So as long as you're at BMCC, I'll be at BMCC, uh, and you can take classes with me. I'm, I may say something else nice about the whole thing, but this has been crazy. Like Taking an online course like this is fucking nuts. Um, and if you manage to watch all 13 of these lectures, you have done a big fucking thing and you should be very proud of yourself because holy god that was too much play-doh i mean i don't think it's too much i like play-doh but you know i'm a crazy person play-doh brings me joy uh it's just it's ridiculous okay and i don't know i may think of other things to say and hop on here but i think for now i think we got it and i'm just gonna kind of call it quits on this thing i'm trying to decide if i have anything else to say i feel like now right is that it okay i'm calling it a day Thank you for being here in this class, and I really appreciate you guys. I know it's a crazy class. I know it's crazy taking college online and what a fucking mess it is. Um, and I don't know. If you made it this far, holy shit, I'm very impressed with you. So I don't know. That's it. I'm done. Thanks for 101. And I'll, I'll have a little goodbye message probably at some point. Uh, okay. Good. Good job, everybody. Bye.